Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Anissa. I know it's been a while since you've seen me, but honestly I did not know what the heck to record for, like a, for a makeup tutorial, and um, also my skin was breaking out a lot, so I was just trying not to really irritate it much, but I loved, I forgot what event it was at, was it the Grammys? But Kim Kardashian's like, out, like greenish smoky eye makeup and I was like you know I've just been obsessing for it and I wanted to record one forever so I said why not now so um this I'll give you all the products that I used to achieve this look makeup by Mario had like in his post like he used some Anastasia um makeup with some eyeshadows and personally I contemplated forever getting them but I was like that just wouldn't be it wouldn't be practical for me and it would be kind of stupid just to get it just because it was in a, a post by, you know, Makeup by Mario when I literally have, like, so many palettes. Like, I have, like, this Beach Cosmetics Day and Night. I have my own personal MAC one. Um, more BH, Lorac. I have enough makeup palettes. So I was like, you know what? I know I have some colors like that. So you know what? Make it work with what you have. That's the motto of the day. And I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Let's get started. Hi everyone. I'm going to start prepping my skin with my MAC Prep and Prime Radiance in Yellow that I always use in my videos. And then I'm going to apply my eyeshadow base. This is the Lorac brand, but all the writing on the tube rubbed off, so just get to see me apply it. Now I'm taking my BH um, Cosmetics 124th edition and I'm grabbing like this um, golden color and I'm going to pop that onto my lid like so. I'm using an e.l.f. brush from Target. They're super cheap, but also like really spanking good. Um, and you don't need anything precise. You just need to put it onto the lid because we're going to be building color on top of this. So this is like a true, true gold. Kim's original makeup was like a pale gold. Um, but for my skin tone, I feel like this warmer shade looked better. Now I'm going to take um, Saddle from MAC and I'm going to be popping that into my crease. Actually, I'm sorry, that's brown script. The one below that's a little bit more red is saddle. So you just take like your 217 or a blender brush of your choice and just run that into the crease area. Now I'm gonna take my Lorac Pro 2 palette and I'm going to take my color of life nectar love this color and I'm gonna build that on top of this crease color here and run it into my brow highlight um, my brow highlight is actually just a concealer that I use to clean up my brows today it's nothing special if you want a little more spark you can add it now I'm taking sumptuous olive from Mac and I'm going to layer that on top of that gold base and even it will run on top of the crease a little bit So just pack it on on top of everything. The gold underneath really gives it something too. Now I'll just take like a clean blender brush. This is my Sonia Kashuk. And you can just blend everything. Blend, blend, hashtag blend some more. Now I'm grabbing the color Jade from the Little Rock palette. And I'm going to start putting that towards the outer part of the lid to define that outer V shape. And guess what you're about to do? You're about to blend some more. Just use the same brush, no worries. I've been using the same brushes for this whole makeup application because it should all blend and look really seamless. Anywho. Now I'm gonna take my NARS shader, my little smudge brush from them, and run the jade on the lower lash line. 
I always make a weird face when I do this. Like, stop, Anissa. <laughs> Who else does that with the face? Now I'm taking um, my NYX Wonder Pencil in Deep. It's just a nude liner and lining my waterline. Now I'm going to take my Sephora Liquid Liner in Tight Line on my lash line. If you see, I have like my con my highlight on because I'm letting it bake while I'm doing all the rest of the stuff. And click the link here to get the contouring and highlighting tutorial that I use for this makeup look. It was now I'm grabbing my wispies and I'm gonna going to pop those onto my lashes. And I just line it up and strategically start placing the lash to secure it. Now I'm taking my NARS Orgasm Blush and I'm going to stipple that onto the cheek. The key to this is stippling, stippling, stippling. Um, it builds the color on and I just love the way I have a little bit more control of the product in that way. Now I'm taking my Sore Lip Liner from MAC. This one is infamous because of the Kylie Jenner lip. Um, it's rumored she uses this color in which, yeah, that's why I bought it. But in general, it is just a gorgeous color on a multitude of skin shades, like skin tones. Um, and I bite my lip right here just to get a clean, precise line and feeling like I have a little bit more control of the application. But look at that color. Like how fabulous is this color? They need to just make a lipstick of this one. Like I know faux is close, but yeah. Now I'm taking my Bobbi Brown lip gloss in light pink, sorry, pale pink, and I'm dabbing that just to the center areas to highlight. And I'm just gonna use my finger to blend it down and make it not so glossy, a little more mattified. And I'm going to run my favorite mascara, my Smashbox Full Exposure Waterproof, on my lower lashes just so they get, get some little love in too. And now it's time for hair. So I blow my hair out at home, um, but I preserve the blowout by using these jumbo flexi rods, and it adds a lot of bounce and body to the hair. And I've been natural for almost five years. I've gone through some trims. I don't have the length exactly I want yet, but it is getting there with the more I take care of it. And I'll link the girl's channel who, whose method I use for the blowout in roller setting. Because that video saved my life. And there we go. We're all set and ready. Thank you for watching again. Don't forget to like and then go see how I highlight and contour next time, guys. Bye.